SchoolTV gekeken? Dan snel aan de slag met kant-en-klaar materiaal. Boeken, mappen, werkbladen en cd-roms. Alles direct te gebruiken in de klas. Leren is leuk met tv-programma's en lesmateriaal. Meer weten? Surf naar onze website www.teliaknot.nl of bel nu 0900 13 44. Kijk mee met je juf of meester naar het Sinterklaasjournaal. Voor het klassenboek van Sinterklaas zijn er al een heleboel mooie groepsportetten binnengekomen. Kijk maar eens hoe mooi het boek wordt. Zorg dat jullie ook in het klassenboek voor Sinterklaas komen. Plak, knip, teken samen met je groep een bladzijde waarop jullie staan. Vraag je juf of meester of ze jullie inzending opsturen naar Zeppelin. Stel je voor, dan kan Sinterklaas voortaan meteen zien wie er allemaal bij jou in de groep zitten en wie hij op zijn verjaardag moet bezoeken. Dus wie weet komt jullie groep op tv. De inzending mag niet groter zijn dan 50 bij 70 centimeter. Anders past hij niet in het boek. Het adres. Zeppelin, klassenboek voor de Sint, postbus 269-00-1202, JZ Hilversum. Welcome to We Are British. Now Britain, as you probably know, is the tiny squiggly thing just above France, famous for its fish and chips, cups of tea and terrible weather. Oh yeah, almost forgot. And for that rather strange posh family that walk around a lot with jewellery on their heads. You don't believe me? Well, listen to these guys. L'Inghilterra mi fa venire in mente pioggia e la regina, ma soprattutto che gli inglesi sono tutti snob. Paoni più chai u pet, uvijek. Non ne so zašto ne mogu biti tog chaja, ono mi ovdje uopće ne pijemo chai u Hrvatska na primjer. Moc se tam lidi ne koupaj, docela hodnje tam prší. Da gibt es noch eine Königin. Und in England sagt man, dass es eine schlechte Küche ist eigentlich. Oh, du wilde Leute. But actually, there's a lot more to our little country than that. In fact, Britain's four countries, England, Scotland, Wales, and when you add Northern Ireland, Great Britain becomes the United Kingdom. Confused, but quite frankly, so are we. You see, there's an awful lot of people on our very little island, and being British is a totally different experience for each of them. We are British. We love tea. I don't. So, Let's start our tour in London, home of the Queen, brightly coloured buses and even brighter coloured punks. Hi, my name's Rory and I'm a sporty girl. I love Arsenal. I don't like washing up. I like pizza. I hate wearing dresses. And I love drama. Number three. Number four. If you've ever heard of the Spice Girls, you'll know that we're right into girl power and that Britain is full of girls like Rory. I would consider myself a tomboy because I like all rough stuff. It's not like football was made for men and singing and dancing was made for girls. One thing that Britain would like to be good at is sport. You see, we invented football, cricket, rugby and golf and therefore assume that by rights, we should be the best at playing them. So it always comes as a bit of a shock to find out that we're not. Unfortunately, a British team hasn't won the World Cup since 1966, which is a shame because we've got some really talented and really good looking players like <coughs> David Beckham. No wonder so many girls like football. A lot of Rory's mates live in these tower blocks. And like the Queen, not all Londoners live in Buckingham Palace. And like many of her friends, Rory's part of a single parent family with her mum and her sister. 
Rory's mum is working really hard, studying to become a teacher, so Rory helps with the household chores. She doesn't like it very much. Finished. Lots of parents work full time, so their kids go to clubs after school. Nice one, Rory! <laughs> when she's not scoring goals or beating the boys at pool, Rory takes the bus to her local drama school, the Anna Cher Theatre. Um, the so called girly things that I like doing are singing, dancing, and drama, really. Many of the Anna Cher pupils have ended up in a miserable British soap opera called EastEnders which is probably why they spend so much time learning how to scream at each other. What, what was I saying about you? Have you got proof? You just said, yeah, you have. You who said, told you? Who told you? But as well as screaming and shouting, the play acting encourages them to express their individuality. And I think it's important that you, you know that you're individual and you act like an individual and don't try and copy to be up to someone else's standards. That's a wrap. <laughs> You know, you can always spot the Brits at the beach. They're the ones who tend to turn lobster red with the sunburn. That's because we're not really used to hot weather. Britain tends to be cold and wet. Some people think that's why we can be quite shy and reserved. Our next story comes from Wales, one of the coldest and wettest bits of Britain. But there's nothing shy or reserved about this boy. Hi, my name's Tom. This is my lovable dog, Prince. I play the bongos. I play the saxophone. I play the piano. I like computer games. Tom lives in the Welsh countryside. This makes his experience of being British very different from Rory's in inner city London. In fact, in Wales, there are more sheep than there are people. Tom's dad is the gamekeeper and he looks after the countryside. Like many country people, Tom and his family live close to nature and respect its ways. But they also believe that some animals should be hunted and killed in order to keep nature under control. And that's exactly what they're doing today. Shoot some pheasants! Good dog! Yeah, good boy! I do like living in the countryside, but sometimes I feel I'd like living in the city because I'd be able to see my friends more. Tom may be a country boy, but he'll take the bus to the nearest town's disco. Go music! If there's a chance of finding a girlfriend. For the age boys and girls start dating each other, I would say would be 11. Boys, the way they meet the girls, well, the way me, me and my friends do is we just go up and we start dancing with the, girl, with the girls, you know, because they're nice looking. When you first go and you get on well with the girl, you dance with her first, then you kiss her. Just kissing, smooching well. Sadly, Tom didn't get a kiss this week. Bad luck, mate. Better luck next time. See ya. Bye. We are British. We love the rain. I don't. Kids in modern day Britain often seem in a real hurry to grow up. Some of them like to wear makeup. Some of them like to change their hair. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Perhaps they are so rebellious because they feel they have a lot to rebel against. Now, most schools in Britain expect their pupils to wear school uniform, and kids are constantly trying to find ways to rebel against it. Like putting their ties on in funny ways. <laughs> or wearing their own clothes underneath their uniforms. Down in the southeast of England is a real rebel girl. Hi, I'm Ella. And at night, I quantum. I love cats. And I like computers. I love rabbits. And I'm a vegan. Ella may have to wear a school uniform, but she's found a different way to rebel. 
And it's not about what she wears, but what she eats. Take school dinners. What do most kids want? Chips. Chips. Oh, chips. But not our Ella. She takes her own lunch to school because Ella doesn't eat animal products. Like one in 15 people in the UK, Ella doesn't eat meat. But she takes it even further because she's a vegan, which means that she doesn't eat any animal products at all. No cheese, no milk, not even ice cream. Animals are Ella's best friends. She's crazy about them. She's got eight rabbits, stick insects, two dogs and two cats. Adela's a great believer in animal welfare. Freedom! <laughs> Unlike Tom and his family, Ella thinks that hunting animals is wrong and she goes on demonstrations to try and stop them. This has become a big issue in Britain. Country people think it's okay to hunt and town people don't. Ella believes that her veganism is a personal issue and she's quite happy to share a table with her friends that do eat meat. People don't give me a hard time at all. They know that everybody's different and I have very good reasons for not eating animals and they have very good reasons for eating animals and we're all different, so... The live and let live attitude of Ella and her friends is very typically British. As a nation, we not only tolerate different customs and beliefs, we positively welcome them. There's a good example of this in our final story. Scotland! The only country in the world where boys can wear skirts and not look silly. Well, not that silly. Hi, I'm Juven. Welcome to Scotland. I like to play the drum. And I live with my mum and dad. And my three brothers and my one sister. Juven is a British Sikh and one of the many British people whose family comes from a different part of the world. In Juven's case, it was India. But both Juven and his dad were born in Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. Jeevan's ethnic background makes his experience of being British very different from many of his schoolmates. But he's got one thing in common with every Brit in the country. He loves a good curry! After dinner, the family like to watch television, another great British tradition. British kids watch the most telly in Europe. But what Jeevan really loves doing is playing the drum and making as much noise as possible. Jeevan's cousin lives next door. They like seeing who can play the loudest. Shut up! Jeevan and his brother are having their kilts fitted. All Scottish people have their own family kilts. Jeevan's family had their own Sikh kilts designed last year. Put your hands out for me. I'll measure you for a jacket. No, Jeevan. They say that real Scotsmen don't wear anything under their kilts. Have you got anything under there? Yeah, I wear stuff underneath my kilt because in case <laughs> something happens. Jeevan is in a drumming band and today he's saying a few extra prayers because the band is playing in front of the whole school. Because it's such a special day, Jeevan's going to have a turban fitted. It's part of the Sikh religion and all Sikh men wear them. And once Jeevan's 11, he'll wear it every day. Let's welcome the Dole Crusader. So, that's the end of our little tour. And what have we learnt about what it means to be British? No idea! You see, it all depends on so many different things. Whether you're Welsh, whether you're Scottish, whether you're English, or whether you're from Northern Ireland, whether you're from town or country, or whether you're black, white, or Asian. Maybe that's all we really have in common, that we're all individuals. Oh, and a really silly sense of humour. <laughs> Thank you.
Actually, that's not very funny. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs>